Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. NFL showdown is we got the Cleveland Browns taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Fourth and goal for the Browns. Oh, a flag is down. Oh, and a false start on the Browns. Oh, man. Wow. And here comes the kicker for the Browns. That's from this season with the Browns. Backbone penalties that have been killing them. That's what they need to clean up. Well, these losses that the Browns have have been because of penalties. Eagles 2-2. Two 31-yard two. attempt. We already saw a field goal block in the first half. They got returned for a touchdown. So, and a kick up is up, and it is good. So, it's a four-point game with 3.54 to go. You're the Eagles. You need a strong offensive plays as we got America's Game of the Week as we got the Detroit Lions taking on the Dallas Cowboys. That'll be a good one. So, Lions, Cowboys, America's Game of the Week or Falcons and Panthers. Depends on where you live. So, but that'll be a good game. Lions and the Cowboys last year the Dallas Cowboys won. There was a controversial call during the game uh, on the Lions. He has an eligible player. They missed the two-point conversion try. So, I mean, to me, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like, it is what it is. You know? But 3.54 to go. Now, the Browns have all three timeouts. So does the Eagles. If you look at the NFC East, Washington 4-1. Right now, they're down... By 10 against the Ravens. Dallas 3-2. and two. So if the Eagles can hang on. And win this game. They can become. 3-2 and two as well. Here's a run. Look out. Oh. Down he goes. With 3.48 to go. Big day for them. As they are recovering from that. Tampa Bay loss. Yeah, that was a rough loss for them. Speaking about the Buccaneers, they're in a shootout against the New Orleans Saints. Just an unbelievable game there. Buccaneers were taking control. 17 to nothing, early lead. And then the Saints scored 27 unanswered in the second quarter. Outscoring the Bucs 27 to 7. So a crazy game in New Orleans. So. Now they're going to run the ball with Barkley. Keeps pushing the pile. Keeps pushing the pile. And then he'll be marked down. It's second down now. Wow. So it's second and six now for the Eagles. Saquon Barkley looking like his Penn State self. I mean, he did good with the Giants. It's just... His offensive line couldn't protect him with the Giants. You know what I mean? I mean, Saquon has some few, you know, bright, you know, notices with the Giants. It's just injuries and things like that. Just. And Hurts going to run it himself. Quarterback sneaky short. It'll be third down. It'll be third and two now for the. Eagles, as the Browns will call their first timeout of the second half. Also, to us, ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys enjoyed some college football reactions as well as Game Five of the American League Division Series, as the Cleveland Guardian Indians won their game, Game Five over their rival Detroit Tigers. What a game that was! Cleveland Guardian and Indians in the ALCS for the first time since 2016 will take on the New York Yankees. And then you got the New York Mets taking on the LA Dodgers tonight. Can the Mets' magical season continue? Or we will see. Last time those two played in the postseason was in 1988 and the Dodgers won. And look out, Hurts! Hurts! 
First down, Jalen Hurts continues the drive. Wow. Wow. Timeout Browns, that's their second. Thought he could fake it, but nope. Wow, unbelievable. And what a play. Also to his win an NFL London game. Chicago the Bears taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars in London. The Chicago Bears defeated the Jacksonville Jaguars 35-16. to Kalen Williams looking pretty good. He was tearing up the Jags defense. And a huge win in London. Nice. 2.55 to go. Pretty much the Eagles are trying to run down the clock as much as they can. So the Browns don't have a chance to make a game-winning drive. Hurts to Barkley. Barkley! He's going to be short. He's going to be short. So it'll be second and nine now. Second and nine for the, for the Eagles as they're going to line it down as much as they can. Jalen Hurts with 214 yards and two touchdowns. 11 rushes for 36 yards on the day. And no interceptions today. So he's been having a great game today. You know, I mean, unlike his Tampa Bay game where they just looked off. Second down nine. Hurts in trouble. Hurts got to throw. Caught. Wow, what a catch made. Doxson. What a catch. First down. That's a catch. That's a catch. He caught it. That's a damn catch. That's a dang catch. First down, Eagles continues to drive. And they're going to run it here. Saquon Barkley is going to get stopped as we are going to head to the two-minute warning. Wow. When the Eagles lead the Browns 20-16. to And there's an Eagle fan dancing like, yeah. About to seal the deal. Hopefully they're trying to seal the deal. I mean, hopefully they don't have no bad turnovers. That'll cost them the game. Like I said, the only win for Cleveland was against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Browns came back in that game, and they won it. But it's been a good game for the Eagles. No turnovers. Just keep rolling, 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 rolling. No. But, we're the, but. But you got to say, hey, you know, the Browns, you know, trying to turn their season around. It's still early. But, but you got to give the Browns credit for trying to hang on in this game. You got to give the Eagles credit, trying to rebound, you know, just an unbelievable game for the, for the uh, Eagles. Also, on Monday Night Football, we got the New York Jets taking on the Buffalo Bills. Last time those two played, the Bills dominated that game. I mean, the first time they played was on Monday Night Football. The Jets won in overtime over the Bills. So, but with the Jets firing Robert Sala, let's see what the Jets can do. Can they change their season around and make the playoffs? You know, no coach that's been fired during the season or no team, I should say, that's been fired, you know, and has not made the playoffs. It's crazy to think that, but it's true. But it's true, you know. It's unbelievable. So the Mets and Dodgers, like I said, the last time those two played in the postseason was 1988. The Dodgers ended up winning that series in seven games, I do believe. 
just, I mean, the Mets in the 80s were pretty good. I mean, yeah, too bad that 80s team couldn't get more World Series rings. I mean, they got a World Series in 1986. The Mets, however, they came back in the World Series in 2000, but they lost to the Yankees. And then in 2015, 15 years later, the Mets came back to the World Series but lost against the Royals. So, here we go. 20-16, to 16, Cleveland Browns with one timeout. Eagles with all three. Second out and 11. The Browns can still, if they can stop the Eagles, they can try and make a game-winning drive. As Hurts will take the snap. Hurts going to go deep. And I mean deep. Oh, it's caught. Oh, A.J. Brown. What an awesome catch. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Jalen Hurts went deep. Go on, Jalen. Wow, to A.J. Brown. Oh, wow. Wow, unbelievable. A.J. Brown, unbelievable. That was awesome. What a catch. What a catch made by A.J. Brown. Just unbelievable. And he had a defender on him. Wow. Jalen thinking is Lane Johnson, 28 pass blocks, zero pressures allowed, a five-time Pro Bowl selection. Lane Johnson, just an unbelievable guard. He's just been trying to tell the defenders, no, 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 you ain't getting through my quarterback. You ain't going to get to him. Just, wow, what a game, ladies and gentlemen. What a game. Unbelievable. Bonus coverage coming up next, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you on the next one. Mighty Duck of Anaheim signing off. I'm going to end the video here as we got the Buccaneers and the New Orleans Saints bonus coverage.